Welcome to the Advanced Hot Docs training from the Center for Access to Justice and Technology at Chicago Kent College of Law. This training covers advanced hot docs topics. You will learn how to use programming constructs like conditionals and repeat loops in hot docs. Topics covered in this guide include conditional statements, checkboxes, multiple choice variables, computation variables, repeat loops, adding an addendum, and working with multiple template files under one project. This guide is accompanied by an expungement petition exercise. Part 1. Conditional statements and checkboxes. Conditional statements, also referred to as if-else statements or if statements, let you make portions of your document change depending on how the user responds to questions in your interview. They are useful if you are working with multiple forms with slight differences and for handling checkboxes, which will be discussed later. The most basic conditional statement is an if statement, which tests if one or more particular conditions are true. You might use a basic if statement to test if a true-false variable is true in order to mark a checkbox. You can add an else statement to an if statement, which will run when the condition under the if statement is not true. You can also add an else if statement to an if statement, which runs when the condition under the if statement is not true, but only if an additional condition is true. If this seems confusing, don't worry, it will be much easier to demonstrate by working through some examples. In hot docs, you can use two types of if statements, if true false variable and if expression. If true false variables can be used to make text conditional based on the value of a true false variable. An if expression can be used to make text conditional depending on anything other than a true false variable. For example, you may want to make text conditional based on how a user responds to a multiple choice question in your interview or based on whether a variable is answered. Using if statements in RTF templates. To use an if statement in an RTF template, highlight the word or phrase you want to make conditional and then hit the if field button on the hot docs toolbar. To make selecting the text you want easier, try disabling smart paragraph selection and smart cursor. Under word options, advanced, editing options, use smart paragraph selection, use smart cursor. To add an else or if else statement, Onto your if statement, highlight the end if text at the end of the statement and click the if field button. Make sure you only have end if selected and no additional text. Exercise 1. Create an if else statement based on a multiple choice variable in an RTF template. Put your cursor in front of the male female option. Select the if field button and choose if expression. Drag petitioner gender MC into the expression field. Enter an equal sign. Then press Control and Space at the same time to bring up the different options held by the multiple choice variable. Choose Mail. Click OK. Your if statement should look like what I have here. Type Mail in between the two shout buttons. Highlight the end if and click the if field button. Since the multiple choice variable we're using here can only have two values, we can just select else. If the multiple choice variable holds one of three or more values, you would want to use the else if expression instead. Make sure else is selected and click OK. You'll see that you now have an else statement as part of your if statement. Type female in between the else and the end if. Paste the rest of the response field to make it look like it did before. Don't forget your period. Let's try test assembling this document. You may notice that you don't have a questions window. Click the component manager. Sometimes the component manager will hide behind the developer window. Click the component file properties button. Under interview, click generate default interview. Click OK. This will allow you to test your document within Hot Docs, allowing you to bypass A to J author for testing purposes. Notice that you now have options here. Under Petitioner Gender MC, select Mail and preview the document. You will notice that it now says Petitioner is male. 
Go back to the Interview tab, select Female. The text changes on the form, corresponding to the if statement that you created earlier. If you see this come up, it's asking you whether you want to save your answers that you just, that you just put together. You can click Don't Save unless you want to save your answer file for later. Exercise 2. Create an if statement based on a true-false variable and checkboxes. Put your cursor in front of the a minor and adult option in the second line of the document. Select the if field button and select if true false variable. You can create a variable directly on the screen. Type petitioner adult tf in the variable field and press OK. Cut and paste the text from the document so that your statement looks like mine does. Highlight the end if and press the if field button. Make sure that else is selected. But note that if you wanted to make text conditional based on the value of a different true-false variable, you could select else if true-false variable and specify that other variable but let's select else for our purposes. Cut and paste the second half of the option in between else and end if. So you can see this if statement will make the box in front of an adult checked if this variable is true, and if it is not true, the box for a minor will be checked. Your form should look like mine does now. Click the Test Assemble button. Under Petitioner Adult TF, click Yes. Notice that the box for an adult is checked. Here you see what happens if a variable is not answered in an RTF template. If you answer the other variable, that will go away. Now you see another annoying aspect of RTF templates. The lack of a return here has caused this line to merge with the other. When working in RTF templates, you may need to have the special characters selected. There should be a paragraph at the end of each line. Test assemble again. That looks better. Note that when you change the option, the correct checkbox becomes checked because of the if statement that you constructed. 